Ever wondered why the winter months make you feel sad? This is an actual thing. Seasonal affective disorder is affecting 10 to 20% of people during the winter months. And the main reason for that is the condition of change of day to night. So the days become shorter and the nights become longer. And with that and the colder weather, typically people spend more time indoors. So they don't get enough sunlight, which is effectively giving them vitamin D to produce an essential hormone called serotonin. Serotonin is a mood stabilizer and it is effectively critical for the way you feel. Also, the other major thing that has an impact is what I call the SAD diet, the standard American diet. Now, if you eat highly processed foods, high in sugar, unhealthy fats, or lack of nutrients, then that is going to directly correlate to the amount of serotonin that your gut produces. So your gut is responsible for the production of 95% of serotonin. So those two things alone should make you think about what it is you're eating and also about getting sunlight and trying to find a way to move more during the winter months. The other thing that's key to understand is that 40% of adults here in the UK are vitamin D deficient during the winter months. So if you've noticed your mood drop during the winter months, then effectively introducing a vitamin D supplement would be a good idea. That would be on top of getting sunlight as much as possible. So trying to get 15 minutes outdoors, go for a walk. Even if it's a cloudy day, you'll still obtain vitamin D through the clouds. Because again, this is the critical component. And then making sure you're getting good whole foods in your diet, things that are rich in omega threes, which are your oily fish, such as sardines, mackerel, anchovies, salmon, and herring. Then also making sure you're getting a good amount of magnesium through the food you're eating. And also tryptophan, which is coming from a protein source like eggs and salmon. So again, these are essentials to making sure, but if you're eating whole food and taking out all that processed junk, then that is going to set your goal up for success, right? For sure. So the other thing to consider as well to support your mood and positivity is that making sure you're getting a good night's sleep. So having a good sleep routine is absolutely critical to support your mood and stabilize your hormones. The other one is love chemical connection called oxytocin. This requires us to come together and connect. So again, spending time with friends and family is a great way to boost your mood. So in short, I want you to remember that dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins, the critical hormones for happiness. And in short, what that means is if you can get some sunlight, move the body, a 15 minutes walk outside each day, and supporting it with a good nutrient rich diet, and sleeping well and coming together and connecting with people you love and spending time with, then your mood should stay good throughout the winter months. Okay. Have an amazing day.